So we're exploring CSS selectors. We have two more. I just watched one of my videos where I was talking like my family from the South and I was a little bit like, wow, I hope that comes off okay. Does it come off okay? Is it kind of fun? It's just on the line? It's on the line? Everybody's telling me it's on the line. Maybe I'll modify. I'm a little embarrassed. Um, now we're going to look at topography. And so here we have first letter. And uh, first letter is uh, the first letter. And so our CSS, what that looks like is like this. Right here. And this is a pseudo element. And so it has two colons instead of one. So pseudo classes, like we visited up, looked it up here, they had one colon. A C has two points. An E has three points. So pseudo element has more dots. And uh, the pseudo element is uh, first letter. So it's just another one. It'll also work with just one colon, but to be correct, it's two colons. So the first letter, you could then target the first letter and you could style that. So I'm going to open that up, reveal that in Finder, open that up, and there's the first letter. Cool. Just selecting different stuff. Like let's select stuff and style it. And then that's the first letter. And then we also have the first line. And so split, uh, reveal and finder. And here's the first line. And that CSS looks like this. So the first line, there we go. All right, color red, font weight 900. And as I change this, notice as the words fall away, it's only the first line that's being formatted. That's kind of cool. So that's a pretty nice look. Right. So that's a uh, first letter and first line. And then we have uh, nested selectors. And uh, with nested selectors, we have these right here. So we've got div p, div p, div p, div p. So what do these things mean? Best way to understand what these mean is for us to look at this stuff. So here, this selects all children. And close that. So that's going to select all the P's under D, under div. <coughs> so that's going to select first, second, third. Because those are all under div, right? You see that? Okay. And then we have and we have div this, right? And that's going to select immediate children. So that's going to be first and second. Okay, only directly beneath. And then we have all siblings. So here's all siblings. So here, siblings, let's see. Any sibling of a div, here's the div. What's the sibling? And it's only ones that trail. So it's going to be all of these. Pretty sure. Uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so they're at the same level as a div. So if we go to our notes, we have all descendants, all you know, p descendants from div, all p's are descendants of div, immediate descendants, only the first level, not like multi-generational, all siblings following, and this last one is 
first sibling following. Okay. So uh, first sibling following here is fourth. All right, we have div p. It's like plus one at a party. I'm bringing one more. I think of it as just one. And so it's fourth. All right, first one following. If I changed it to this, what gets selected? All siblings following, fourth, fifth, and sixth, right? This is just plus one. So here's the game. Actually, these will be just the introduction to it. We'll play the game in the next one.